This is the doom, the doom. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, peace be unto you. We got Brother Phil, born again, big born again Christian. He was contemplating purpose of life, realized I'm going to die one day. So he became a born again Christian. He went through the whole party scene, became a born again Christian. And then he left that for this. What is this? We're going to be talking about it, this way of life that was brought and taught by Jesus, Moses, Abraham, and the last final message of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the way of life that's from the Creator, not an organized religion, organized by man or men, the way of life that brings you peace, prosperity, success in this life and paradise in the next. We're going to hear his wonderful story, this French Muslim, here on The Dean Show. This is The Dean, The Dean Show. This is the Dean, the Dean Show. This is the Dean Show. This is the Dean Show. This is the Dean Show. Assalamu alaikum, peace be with you. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How do you say, when I introduced the show, I was like, you know, uh, French. You know, I never had a French uh, brother on the show. Do you speak, uh, do you speak français? Oui, je parle français. Oui, oui. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so how do you, how do you say, how are you doing in Fran uh, French? If you want to be polite, say, comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? Uh, Mashallah, fluent. Mashallah. Uh, is there a lot of French Muslims? That's where uh, they got the niqab band, right? Yes, that's in that's hijab in, yeah, in, that's in France. It's, it's it's in Europe. Uh -huh. In Canada, it's uh, Alhamdulillah, lots of Moroccans, lots of Algerians that came yeah. down. Yes, there are lots what, of. What's French the Muslims. predominant religion in France? I would say it's Christianity. Christianity. For sure. Yeah. So you were born again Christian. Yes. What does that mean, born again Christian? Like you were dead and now you become born because it's, you found the uh, I found the, the light of Jesus Christ. If you, yeah. you know, uh, I had lost my religion at one point. And then I did something terrible, and uh, I wanted to, you know, go back to what I knew, my source, my roots. And I decided to pick the Bible, read it from A to Z. You read the whole Bible. Read the whole Bible. Yeah. And I and I reemerged myself in Christianity. Did you read the original Bible? <laughs> we both know we didn't. I didn't read the original <laughs> Bible. Because there's no original Bible. There's absolutely no. Original Is there a thing. copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of anything original? And a translation and a version. But there's nothing. There, there's no uh, nothing close to original. Not today. So you read. Uh, uh, Not today. Uh, what we have today. What we have today. What's claimed to be the Bible okay. today? Yes. And uh, you know, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. The whole thing about the Trinity and the Son of God. It's so you had, you had the G, I call it the JC Gold card. You put all the sins on JC. Uh, That's the one. Jesus Christ. Get out of jail free card Get as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, Bef wait, before that, what were you doing with your life? Before then, if Allah existed or He didn't exist, just be a good person. It doesn't matter, you know. But uh, you figure out that uh, you know man has to have a purpose. If you were to take away mosquitoes from the planet, within yeah. a few months everything dies. If Every, you just took away what? The mosquito. The that, mosquito. That's a fact, right? That's a fact. Mosquitoes. <laughs> mosquitoes. But if you take away mankind, nothing happens. So this whole ecosystem, this whole wheel, this whole cycle, does it need you? So why are you here? You have to have a specific purpose. And you were thinking purpose. Well, of course. I mean, if we know why a pen is made, you know, why it's created, it's to write. But mankind, which is obviously way more, way more complex than a pen, what's his purpose in life? You know? So at one point, you put all your eggs in one basket in Christianity. So wait, wait, so now you're thinking purpose. What's the purpose of life? Were your parents uh, practicing Christians? Uh, they believe in God. They believe, obviously, Jesus, the Son of God, the whole nine. We think, we think France, I'm sorry, we think, you know, but, uh, France yeah. is like... But I'm really in Canada, yeah, yeah. You're in Canada, of but course. when we think French, we think like wine, people on the beach. I mean, of like, Dali, you know, this whole like... Of course, uh, that's like know, bourgeois, French, bourgeois, up in France, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. People like really aren't... Like, in Canada, have, it's like they two they different cultures. Okay. We're so, really two different cultures. So now you're, you're in Canada, and you're not uh, obviously following the way of your parents. You're just having a good time? And then now you start, you, did you go through all of the good times and now you're thinking purpose? Of course. What, what, drew, what drew you to think about it? Because it's, it's an odd topic for a lot of people because they're wrapped up with music, Absolutely. With, you know, partying. Absolutely. Well, how, they're you, locked up in this illusion of fun and pleasure. In the so that's what mind. I want to know. How did you, because we want to get people unlocked from that. How Absolutely. did you get unlocked to even get to being a born again Christian? The thing is, you are going to die. I am going to die. We are all going to die. So when I did this terrible act, I, and I, subhanAllah, like, what am I doing? What am I, why do I feel so bad when really it shouldn't matter? Why is this ingrained into my being as though it's part of fitrah? 
Why is this? Why am I like this? So I went back to the book, went to the Bible. So that's when you're living according to your desires. Of course. So of you course. are you, you're feeling something missing. There's something missing. Yeah. For sure, there's something missing. We can't. We have this culture, this pop culture. Like we make kids believe that they will live forever. They will live forever, but were, it's not the case. Were you were you really into music? Of course. Nightclubs. Nightclub. I was I was 16 when I first became when I became Muslim. 15, 16 yeah. years old. Wow, young. I was young. Alhamdulillah, yeah. I was young. Yeah. Uh, but nightclubs, not yet. You know, it was yeah. illegal. But uh, house parties. For sure, I, yeah. I did the whole nine. You know, back in the day. And it's just I snapped out of it. You snapped out of it. Did someone? Did, did someone? Did you have like a, a life altering situation where you almost died? Or you had, no, no, no. It's nothing no? like this. It's just that I, I did something bad. But why is it bad? Why do I feel so bad about it? Why, why do I fear death all of a sudden? You know, it, it's someone's like, what did he do? Of course. Like, what I do? Like, but what was it? Was there something specific? It's uh, between me and then the okay, creator right. for now. Right. The we'll there, yeah. yeah. But, and it just went back to the book, became a born again. And I, and I thought Jesus was the key. I was preaching on street corners, talking to people. Did you have some people. friends who were born again Christians that were like doing dawah to you? They were inviting you to this? It was, it was the opposite. I went to them and like, guys, we need to pray during lunch hour. You know, what are we doing, you know, and then in, in, in the hallways, we're talking to this, and we we're talking about this bad stuff. We need to go pray. And we were sitting in a circle, and we were praying the whole night. It's what we, it's so what you I believe did. Jesus was one in the Trinity, of but course. he died for your sins? Died for Clear your belief. sins. Clear-cut belief. If you don't believe this, that's it. And everyone else is going to hell. Everybody else is Unless going to hell. Unless you believe that Jesus died Unless for your sins. Unless you believe that Jesus died you for your sins. You were preaching and teaching this. This was the fundamental message. I, was, I would ask people, do you believe in God? Yeah, I believe in God. Do you believe in Jesus? No. And it would break my heart. Because I thought that was the only key. Give us an example. Okay, you see someone out there, and you go up to them to, to give them some, what, what would you call it? Like to uh, like preach. I was preaching. preaching. You know, yeah. Preach the word. Giving a good word. Yeah, Giving that's the, the one. Word. That's so the what one. would you tell them? Uh, John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he sent well, his man, only... Come on, would you just go up to someone <laughs> and say, look, man, you never met the guy. Well, you know, how, how would it go? It was... Uh, Did you just come up to you? Hi, my name is uh, Phil. Yes. For know, God so loved the world. Exactly. So sometimes you would have pamphlets. You know, yeah. you talk to people. You do believe. What do you think happens after when you die? Uh, you know, is there is there a light at the end of the tunnel? What happens? Those and are you, good points, though. Right those there. are very good points. Yeah. Even Muslims today can use what happens yeah. after death. But I would always cling it back to the original sin. Listen, my kind is a sinner, so you cannot ever be forgiven here. You have to believe in the blood and sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And it would just entwine that, that, that belief in, in, with reality and just be like, that's all you have to believe. Did you ever speak in tongues? No. You know, subhanAllah, it was... Uh, Did you see people speaking in tongues? I, I've seen it on YouTube, but never live. You Did know, you go ever go to those conferences, the conventions, where they got the guys and they're like... In Canada, you know, they're, not, they're not too big. They don't I, I don't. I haven't really seen it. Yeah. They do happen. They do happen. People talk about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a lot of theater involved, I believe. There's a lot of theater. Big money, isn't it? Oh, lots of money. If you buy this soap, it washes away your sins, you know? Like, uh -huh. big so money. tell us more. Tell us more. Uh, so, in Christianity. And then afterwards, I met a very special brother. We sat down. You know, it was in grade 10, grade 11, where I uh, f sat down with a Muslim. I've been with Muslims with all my life, very multicultural back home in Canada. And no one ever spoke to me about Islam. We worship God, you guys worship Allah. It's just a different language, you know. I say I worship God and you worship Dieu. Dieu is how you say God in French, it doesn't matter. So he sat down with me and asked me, is Jesus the Son of God? Well, of course, he's the son. Like, what are you talking about? You know, you know this. Uh, and it just started from there. And for the next four months, it was transition after transition until I accepted Islam. All my life, never once did I understand. No what was it about Islam that, that appealed to you? What was it that now you were a born-again Christian? You were hardcore, John 6, 3, and all the way, oh, right? Oh, yeah, all the way, man. And now it, Islam. Now Islam. The thing is, People, today, subhanAllah, uh, in the conference, we talk about uh, Islam, it sounds foreign. Mm -hmm. It comes from, I believe in Jesus, you know, the letter J. J Jesus never said the, the letter J, never mentioned that. It's a phonetic that he never heard. He never heard the same never word, heard the Jesus, right? G Yeah, never heard it. So, Muhammad, it sounds foreign. It sounds like a guy cooking up the shawarma, mm -hmm. you know? So, but when you really understand it, and you see that Jesus, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, did the same, behaved the same way that the Prophet Salaam did. You realize that you're not changing shirts. You're just retailing your suit. It's not a different belief. You're just adding a few, tweaking it a little bit. And that's what really drew me. And I said, SubhanAllah, there's something here. 
There's something here. And subhanAllah, after four months of, of going back and forth, uh, Tawheed 101, you know. Uh, the pure who, monotheism. Pure monotheism. Who is Muhammad, the, the Messenger of God, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Who is Jesus, the true identity of Jesus? And you actually take the time to read the Bible, specific verses. That Jesus prayed with his head, to, his face hit the ground and he prayed. So uh, he didn't eat pork. He behaved a very specific way. He uh, pushed people to do good deeds. Believe and then do good deeds. He told people to not to sin. Stay away from sin. If your eye sins, take it and cast it away. Better yeah. to be in this world with oh, one oh, eye without, rather than two in hellfire. And the Prophet so. says, uh, avoid hellfire by half a date. Mm -hmm. They're preaching the same thing. Same message. The same message. And this whole idea of like, he copied from Jesus. That means Jesus copied from Moses and Moses copied from Abraham. No, they come from the same light. And it really drew me to this, to, to, to Islam. To Islam, you know, through, through back and forth conversation. And no, alhamdulillah, today I can say I'm a Muslim because, because of this one specific brother. Allah made him the tool that guided me to Islam. We, are, we have a lot more questions to ask you, signaling that we got to go to break. And we're going to continue with your short story. Is that okay? That, that sounds like a plan. And you speak a little French for us? Ça me fait, ça me fait plaisir. All right, we'll be right back here on the Dean Show with Brother Phil. It's simple to understand. Islam means submission. Look at the word. Submission not to yourself, not to your desires, not to anyone or anything. Because at the end of the day, you get something, you always want more. You get some weed, you want more. You get some drugs, you want harder drugs. You get a girl, you want a nicer girl. You get a car, you want a nicer car. You get a house, you want a nicer house. We've got so many pressures by enslaving yourself, worshipping God, loving God. But submission to the one who created you. And by worshipping God and seeking His pleasure, you get pleased and you enter paradise. God bless you. This is my family. But he's always been stubborn. He started having his problems, gang activity, fights. One night, policemen called me, say, you, Eddie's uh, father, come on, get him from the station. He, he's locked up. One fight here, another fight there. His physical being was great for his ego, but it left him empty. If someone who knew Eddie in his youth, they would predict that he'd be dead. On the outside, people looking in said, hey, this is the man. Everybody knew Eddie. At any given moment, you could have seven to eight women that are running around the club looking for him. I have to get out of this totally. Right near the end, there was, there was just a void. It was a constant struggle. His inner soul was broken at that moment. There was that emptiness in his eyes. It was a bigger emptiness that I think I've ever really seen in his eyes. I'm running here, running there, but mainly I'm running the wrong way. It was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and he was struggling with that, but the effort was there. There was a conscious effort to make that switch. He actually started talking behind his back, look at him, he's starting to be a, a good guy. And this was the reality, it was death. Reddy's concept was he, he wanted to start showing Islam and spread it to the non-Muslims. Well, people didn't know who I was. But well, why are we doing this? No one's gonna take you serious. And You're living a dream. And people were were just stubbornly resistant, and I you know, started looking at you like you're, you know, from outer space. I had to be out there and trying to convince people to be on the show. Of that uh, show aired, I think that's when you saw the full formation come into to hope. This guy's changed. What's going on here? He's, he's a machine, you know. To see someone change, to see their character changes, to see positive changes in their life, it's a sign uh, of God. Bevenue, Bevenue, welcome back, welcome back. MashaAllah, Alec. All right, Very all right. strong. Very <laughs> strong. Tell us, Brother Phil, you yes. know, this is a really serious topic because this is something that really scared me too, the reality of death. Oh, yeah. People dying every day. Every day. And, you know, when you're wrapped up and your mind is just cluttered with all this nonsense, that's a waste of time, you know? And then when you start thinking serious and you ask serious questions and you really find out what the true purpose of life is. Of course. You're happy, you're content. Of you course. still have struggles in life. Life is a test. And we all do, of know? course. Paradise is in the next life, not in this life. Not right? in this life. So tell us what happens now 
okay, you become a Muslim, what's the final breaking point? You said you're going back and forth, mm -hmm. debates, dialogues, you know? The final breaking point was when I accepted that God is unique. Nothing resembles Allah Azza wa Jal. Completely unique in all His attributes and His adjectives. They're not yet Muslims out there. Yeah. You know, they're, they're hearing Allah. What, what, define, so what there you, you go. Allah is actually like two words put together. This is one of the beauty of the Arabic language. It means the one worthy of worship. It is neither a male nor female, and it is singular. It cannot be put in plural form. So Allah is unique, one, nor male nor female. When I say God, I could also say goddess. When I choose to say God, I'm adding a, a, a male a sort of like figure to this, this uh, being that's beyond this world. And that's a, that's a problem. So when I say Allah, I'm very comfortable because I know exactly the, this attribute and what it means. So now they know. Continue on from here. Perfect. When I realize that Allah Azza wa Jal is unique and that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, is his final prophet. After him there shall be no more. He shall be, there shall be no more. I told myself, you know what, I believe, you know, like so, if I believe it, it's good enough. You know? But again, take a step back. The reality of death is still there. I can party, have fun for 60, 70, 80, 100 years. But where will I go afterwards? It is eternal. You don't come back. It, it, wherever you go, you stay there. So if you, you cannot compare a hundred years to eternity. hundred years is nothing. It's not even a split second. It doesn't exist com compared to eternity. So you just got to put all your eggs in the right basket. So on my way to school, I was alone when I took my shahada. Sure, I should have been in front of people, I have witnesses, but I was alone. And I say, you know what? I'm going to die. So it could be walking, home to, walking back from home to school. We don't know. So I testify that God is unique. I testify that Allah is, is, is the true God. You know? And Muhammad is his prophet and messenger. And that day I became a Muslim. And I sort of knew how to pray, because through the four month discussion, I sort of knew. And we were just starting Ramadan. SubhanAllah, we were just about to begin the Ramadan. Funny story is, prior to that, uh, to my Shahada, mm -hmm. I did Ramadan the previous year to see, just to get an experience out mm -hmm. of it. Because Jesus fasted for 40 days, but today you, you don't eat chocolate for 40 days during Lent. But mm -hmm. it, it's supposed to be a fast, but anywho. So walking to school, and I remember death again, and SubhanAllah, my purpose is to be a Muslim. My, the purpose of mankind is to submit to Allah Azza wa Jal. Back to the, the story of the mosquito. If you take away mosquitoes from planet Earth, everything dies. But mankind, things improve. Or, or like, uh, we don't add balance to this world. So what is your purpose? And Allah Azza wa Jal clearly states it. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Except for worship. We're not here to, to, to you know, to, complete the cycle of plants and then the bees and pollinization and we have nothing to do with this. Of course we have an impact, but that chain doesn't need us. Our purpose is different. SubhanAllah. How can people be convinced as you are, 100%, because when you get into, I'm sure, the Trinity, God, because the Christian creed is God is Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Of course. But one, they're one. Now we try to figure this out. You know it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So then a person say, look, it's a mystery. You just got to have faith. Of course, right? of course. But Islam, it's not like that. No, it's there's not, reason. There's reason. It's I, knowledge based. Of course. I'm not a bear. I'm not as strong as a bear. I'm not as fast as the cheetah. Allah Azzawajal made us with the brain, with knowledge. In the Quran, Allah Azzawajal describes created Adam and, and taught him the names with, with the brain power. That's what we have. And if the creator of all things creates you with this uh, blessing and your belief in Him is contradictory to what your blessing allows you to, to, to know, to, to think, or to compute, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make illogical. Sense. If, it if, is illogical. If you went to a million people, I mean, this is just, you know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. They never heard about Islam or Christianity, and you presented them with the uniqueness of God, that will just worship God. Of course. Or you try to explain this whole concept of God, the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, three, one. Who what? died? Who did He pray to? Who? What happened? 100%. When well, he died, who ran the universe? It doesn't make sense. It cannot add up. It Those can. million people who had a clear view, they would accept the worship of only one guy. Hopefully, Hopefully. inshallah. <laughs> we got to do it. We have a lot of work to yeah. do. We have a lot of work to do. T tell us now. Tell us now. Tell us. Look, so how can people be convinced now? We said it's knowledge-based. Of that course. We provide evidence. And this is really, for a lot of people, that's like, hey, far-fetched. Like, yeah. we, what evidence are you talking about? Give us something that people can be, they can look into Islam and know that, you know, Islam is definitely not man-made, but it's from the Creator. And Islam simply means submission to the will of, of God. Submission to the will of God. 
Where do I? <laughs> give, us, <laughs> give us something that. You, well, one you have to I know, be. We, we could talk about this. You have song. to be sincere. Yes. Sincere in finding the truth. If there is Allah, and He wants you to be a Muslim, and if you are sincere about it, there's no way, inshallah, you will not become a Muslim. If you are truly sincere, you will find the truth. How many stories do we know of people? They go through Buddhism, Hinduism, they go through this and that. They find Islam. Wow, fitra. This is perfect. The nature of man. The nature of mankind. And this is, it, it go, it's aligned with your, your, your grain, you know, the, the human wavelength. I don't know. It, it just, it, it's so, it's made for mankind. Number two, the best, the biggest miracle of our Prophet wasallam, is the Quran. It is the Quran. That's a living miracle. Isn't it, it is the living miracle that we will have until the last day. Never, never, never. In the history that the Quran has been, has someone been able to copy it, to mimic it, to write another verse like this one? And this is a proof of the Quran. Uh, I believe it's. Let me recap. This is proof of the Quran, and it is the only book that gives a shout out to people. Mimic me. If you mimic it, you don't have to believe it. It is the only book that calls out to people to do to go through a challenge. Until this day, no one has ever been able to to come close. To come close. It is a linguistic miracle. I myself, who am, who, I'm French Canadian, I took uh, Arabic studies for, for two years in a university back home. You cannot come close to the Arabic of the Quran. It is untouchable. Untouchable. Linguistic miracle. And our Prophet ﷺ was unlettered. He did not know how to read and write. So this is beyond comprehension. And number three, the science, the math, and, and the, the miracles in the Quran. Just one example, I believe in Surah Al-Rum, where Allah Azawajal describes the battle, the battle between the Romans and the, the Byzantine armor. They will fight where? Adan Al-Ard. The lowest part of, uh, on the planet. And today with geology, the whole nine, it is actually the lowest part on this globe. The lowest, below sea level. How could anybody know this back in the day? This is just one, one piece. There are thousands of miracles with the Quran. Go back to the Quran, and number four, uh, Read on who is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who is this man? He was a man like you and I. He died. He was born a uh, normal human being. But he received revelation from Allah Azza wa Jal. Uh, before revelation, afterwards, the stuff that he's accomplished, no regular human being could have just done this without the help of Allah Azza wa Jal. Clear message to humanity. And as well, till this day, the Quran has never been changed. Never been changed. And like, like, uh, the first part, there are many different Bibles, many different books like this, different versions. The Quran, Allah Azawajal promised mankind, I will protect this book. I will protect this book. And that for me is this wake up call. You know, read up on Islam, really figure out, research what it is that Muslims believe, what is it that we are, are uh, pushed to do, how mm -hmm. to behave, akhlaq, al-a'mal, uh, the good deeds. There's no way you can say no to this. If you are sincere. If you're sincere. If you're sincere. Yes. If you're sincere. There's no way you the can refuse. The evidence is overwhelming. It is overwhelming. Yeah. It is overwhelming. Allah is, if I would, if I was to build a door, if I was to build a door, there's no way that the door resembles me. I do not look like the door. My, my, I have skin this is made of wood or metal. And Allah has created the universe. And He is beyond this universe. Way more complex than this universe. You can't even imagine and and. To say that he created man in his image, I make lots of mistakes. Cre to say that uh, he became man and died, you can't allow yourself to believe this. You cannot allow yourself to believe this. We believe in Jesus, the Messiah ibn Maryam, the, the, the Messiah born of Mary, many miracles. If, if you are sincere, you will accept Islam. I, yeah. I, can't, I can't say it enough. If I had, to one -on -one, if I had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a Christian, uh, many times in the past, it, 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 it ends with complete silence and pure contemplation. Have you had those? Christian. Have you had some Christians accept Islam at, at, by God's... Uh, uh, yes, By God has been yes, giving you the opportunity. Yeah? Alhamdulillah. We, we might ask you about that, one that of these. We're, awesome. we're going to take a break and we'll be right back with more here on The Dean Show with Brother Phil. It's like, when did you think that you had no purpose? Are you worthless? The value comes from purpose. Your purpose in life 
is to worship the Creator, not worship your desires and self, not worship social pressure, the celebrity culture, but worship the thing that's much higher and transcendent, above and beyond. By worshipping God and seeking His pleasure, you get pleased. So you have double pleasure. Bismillah. What if I told you that Islam is rooted in the word peace? What if I told you you've been deceived in what a practicing Muslim actually believes? What if I told you that Islam explains this life's meaning, was made for our Lord's pleasing, made for all from the blind to the seeing, from the old to the teething, for all human beings? Let go of your fakely fabricated beliefs that are totally obsolete, held in the West and in some of our Muslim countries in the East. It's time to be loud and proud about a testimonial vow. I testify that God is unique and Muhammad is his prophet and to the reason why we constantly bow alone or with the crowd. How ironic the religion of peace and mercy is accused of controversy. Here are just a few of its rulings and if your attention they're worthy. To kill an innocent life is as though you've killed all of humanity. Back here on the Dean Show, we have our brother who is French. French Canadian, yeah. French Canadian. And you were a born again Christian. Yes. You went through the whole, you know, void in your heart not knowing what the purpose of life is, to, to realizing that there is a purpose in life, and you thought that Christianity was the way, and then you met a Muslim, and he provided you with the evidences and, 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 and proved to you that Islam, which means submission to the will of God, did Jesus do Islam? Absolutely. Did Moses do Islam? Absolutely. Abraham? Absolutely. All the messengers no were Muslims asked. and they did Islam, is that right? No questions asked. Someone says, how was that? The thing is, Islam means to submit, like you just said. If someone obeys the commandments of the Creator, he is under the fold of Islam. Now the, the jurisprudence, the fiqh part of, of, of different prophets and the, the whole nine, sure it changed throughout, throughout the time, in different periods in, in, in mankind. But, la ilaha illallah. To obey Allah alone and to submit to Him, every prophet did this. Every prophet did this. So you're still, you're doing what Jesus did. You're Absolutely. submitting to the Creator, not His creation. Absolutely. So now you still love, I mean, people don't understand, we'll go to hell, we'll go to hell if we don't believe in Jesus. Is that right? If you don't believe that He was a mighty messenger, of you, you throw, throw Him out and say, look, I'll, I'll just take uh, Moses and Abraham and Muhammad, but leave out Jesus. You can't do that. You go if to, you know that you have to accept Him, if you know that you have to accept Him, then you, you can't have reject. To. You can't reject because we know the Quran is directly from Allah Azza wa Jal. Yeah. There's no doubt in it. Yeah. If you're going to doubt it, then you left the fold. You, you, yeah. you don't believe in the revelation uh, anymore. You know what? So little time. We're almost out of, of time. Course. Give us a just short glimpse of a conversation you had with another born-again Christian or a Christian. And they, how did they come to Islam? SubhanAllah, uh, a few Ramadans ago, yeah. a, uh, a brother came in and he had... Uh, Christian? Cri no, no, Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. But he brought a Christian friend. Yeah. In the Ramadan, the Maj drink Taraweeh. And uh, that night, I, I didn't pray that away, but I was just with the brother the whole time. We were going back and forth, back and forth. What a Muslim has to do when giving da'wah is to not be on the passenger side. Take control. You have haq. You have the truth. So don't be on the passenger side. Obviously, don't be mean or don't be impolite. And at the same time, you don't break someone's house and then invite them to your house. You tell them, try to make my house. Try to do renovations here and there. So the whole idea of giving da'wah is to invite to Islam. Invite to La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Translated means? I testify there's no deity but God. God is the only one unique and that you can worship and that Muhammad is his final prophet. Isn't that the same statement you would make if you were living during the time of Jesus that there's no deity worthy of worship if, Absolutely. except God and Jesus the Absolutely. messenger? At that time. And at that time, if someone did this, he'd be a Muslim. Yeah. And, and then so on and so forth. Now you got to accept the final messenger, Prophet Absolutely. Muhammad. There is no other pilgrimage on earth that you can go to and see Filipino Muslims, Mexican Muslims, Canadian Muslims, Arab Muslims, African Muslims. And with Allahu Akbar, we all do the same movements. This is a clear sign that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi peace be upon him, was sent to all of mankind. Not to one nation. Not to one nation. And in the Bible, uh, the, the, the disciples of Jesus are like, uh, listen, some lady is coming and she wants you to heal her daughter or something. And he replies, tell her that the master does not give food to the dog. Because she was a non-Gentile, she was a non-Jew. 
And he clearly, in a clear open statement, statement, he says, I was not sent but unto the lost children of the tribe of Israel. That was his immediate mission. Clear statement. Is this what you're telling the guy now? All of, of course. This? And then what happens at the of end? Of course. Then I talk about uh, the, the statement where Jesus alayhi salam says, I must hasten for I must go, for the comforter shall not come. For them this is the Holy Spirit, but it cannot be the Holy Spirit. Just with the, the other statement, Jesus alayhi salam replies, uh, he will not come until I leave. But throughout the Bible, the Holy Spirit is mentioned and many things happen. So it cannot be the Holy Spirit. And He shall abide with you forever. We have the Quran, we have the Ahadith, the most documented man in the world's history is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And we have Quran, His final miracle. His teachings are still here. If you are, everything from the way He walked, from the way He spoke, from the way He, he put on His shoes, from the way He spoke to people, from the way He combed His hair, it's narrated. How many gray beards he has in his... Uh, how many gray, yeah. You, everything is there. SubhanAllah, everything is there. He's, he's, uh, his miracle is still here. Mm -hmm. And Nazareth have promised that it will, it will stay with us forever. For the French person out there that he heard French and he don't speak too much English, just real quick, can you say something in French? Worship the Creator, not His creation. Something else. Stick with him in, 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 Fran in ça French. Me, absolutely. Ça, ça me ferait plaisir. Tell him something. On doit adorer le Créateur, celui qui a tout créé. Uh, C'est notre, c'est notre raison d'être. Aller contre notre raison d'être, contre notre fitra, contre euh, ce qui est naturel pour nous, on, je, on ne peut pas l'accepter. On ne peut pas l'accepter. Il n'y a qu'un Dieu et Mohammed son prophète. Que la paix de Dieu soit sur lui. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. J'espère fortement que vous faites votre lecture sur l'islam. Qu'est-ce l'islam? Ne regardez pas les musulmans qui sont flan flan un peu fous. Regardez vraiment qu'est-ce qu'ils croient. Regardez le contexte historique. Faites votre lecture sur qui était Mohammed sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, que la paix et la bénédiction de Allah Azza wa Jal soit sur lui. We are out of time. Where can people, if they, 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 they want to get a hold of you, you know, if they have some born again Christian now, he, he's like, you know what, this makes sense. I've been struggling with this whole, you know, Trinity and that, and this guy was that. He was a born again Christian. I want to talk to him. How can I get in contact? Please find me on facebook.com slash dawafil, on my YouTube channel, dawafil. Uh, you can email me dawafil at gmail.com. Please, uh, I want to get the word out. Obviously, this is an amand. This is a big trust on us to spread this message. And uh, look at my uh, dawa videos, my, my poetry that I've done. Uh, let, let's get together online and then we'll see what we can do, inshallah. Thank you very much for being with us. A very incredible story. I pleasure. wish we had more time. It was my pleasure. Jazakum well, well, yeah, Allah reward you. you. Me yeah, too. Like so. And there you have it the message delivered to you in French. Worship the Creator, not His creation. Think about the purpose of life, where you're going. Islam makes it simple. Allah says in the Quran, if you choose other, anyone who chooses another way of life other than submission to the will of God, Islam, never will it be accepted of Him. Nowhere did Jesus Christ, peace be upon Him, who we love, no Muslim is a Muslim unless you believe in Jesus, that He was one of the mightiest messengers. Nowhere did He ever explicitly call people to worship Him or His mother nor did any messenger of God. They all call people to worship God, not themselves. And this is the same message of all the messengers, including the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So when you realize death is a reality, the day of judgment is a reality, hellfire is true, and that's eternal. You go there forever. Paradise is real, it's eternal. And all you have to do is ask God to guide you. Ask God to guide you, repent to Him, call upon Him, worship the Creator, not His creation. All of that is explained in Islam, 1-800-662-ISLAM, to learn more. And we'll see you next time. Peace be unto you.